The Camino de Santiago is an ancient pilgrimage route that has been traveled by millions of people for over a thousand years. For many, walking the Camino is a life-changing experience, a test of endurance and a chance to connect with something greater than themselves. I'm Sandy. And I'm Jet. Join us on our epic journey as we attempt to walk over 500 miles across Spain. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We just came back from breakfast here at Ron Zavias. I'm really feeling it today. Uh, Sandy's over here putting on her rain pants because guess what? It's raining again. <laughs> yes. There won't be as much snow as yesterday though. No, this is true. And today is going to be a bit longer than yesterday. Longer distance, but I think it's the uh, terrain is not as steep. As a matter of fact, it's steep going in, down into Zabiri, but we'll, we'll get to that when we come to it. At least it's not up, up, up in the driving snow. Ron Sabias actually remains one of my favorite places. I think that if you get a private room, this place has been around since the 12th century. It's served it's everything from military barracks to pilgrims to a young school for women, whatever that means, but I read it so I'm telling you. And it's a really pretty old building. Buildings, I should say. Okay, time to get out into the rain and, uh, you know, Buen Camino! And there you have it folks, just 790 kilometers to Santiago, although the sign right before says 755. It's new, it's a really new sign. They, they, those were not there when we were here last time. They put up a lot more way markers and actual informational signs so far, so good stuff. So this sign is actually a huge landmark. I mean, if you don't stop at this you sign- And get your picture. Did like, you really do the Camino? No, you didn't. <laughs> So I will say this much, I am infinitely grateful for how flat the trail is this morning. It's, I shouldn't speak too soon because then there'll be like, you know, a thousand foot scramble or something. No, it feels really good to be able to stretch, really stretch out our legs and not be taking little steps uphill or. Yeah, and it's it's not a blinding, you know, white out blizzard. So even though it's, uh, it's raining pretty good, we're feeling pretty good. Also, shout out to my friend Coffee. We haven't had uh, the best relationship over the past couple of days, but this morning at the hotel, I was able to get enough coffee to actually feel like a human being. So shout out to you, Coffee. <laughs> We have made it to the small town of Espinal. Weather's gotten a little bit better. It's just kind of misty out. I think we're about a third of the way there. It's just kind of yucky out, but you know what? At least it's not hot and we're still in pretty good spirits, so. The rain has actually let up. I am not sure how close we are to Zabiri, but I wanted to show you a little something. So. Fallen trees, we've had to uh, climb around these things. And that's not something we experienced last time. It's kind of crazy how wet it's been. Sandy, how much further do you think it is? Maybe five kilometers, so okay, three so, miles maybe. Okay, so we're not Ish. too far. Yeah, almost there. Just a really big downhill coming up. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you hear the birds chirping? We left out of the Zubiri super early this morning. Not by choice, just uh, we were in an eight person room last night. Staying in the Abergays, it's one of those things where if one person wakes up, then we wake up. So <laughs> it was kind of a domino effect and everyone just kind of, you know, got up and started getting on the way this morning. Destination today is Pamplona, which is gonna be nice because we're gonna get to do some laundry and we are also taking a rest day in Pamplona, which I highly recommend if you do have the time. It's a beautiful city. It's got some great food as well. It's our fourth day of walking and uh, I'm definitely feeling it. How about you? Yes, maybe less so if we hadn't drank so much wine last night. Okay, so that was the thing. That I'll, happens. I, I, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but <laughs> since she did, yes. We met some really nice people last night and may 
may have overdone it on the wine. Maybe, I don't know. Depends on your definition of overdoing it on the wine. Got about just over what, 20 kilometers today? 21 kilometers today, so uh, let's do it. Got a little bit of a bum knee from all that downhill yesterday, but otherwise. It has stopped raining for, you know, about 10 minutes or so, um, which is nice. Really hard, because the condensation keeps on fogging up the lens. So let me, uh, let me, let me just get that for you there. It's, uh, okay, yes. All right. Is that better? Yeah, they, they look great now, honey. <laughs> so we did stop for a bite to eat, but we didn't show you because we were ravenous because the place we stayed last night did not have breakfast, so. And nothing was open when we left this morning, so we had to walk 10 whole kilometers. But I had a ham sandwich, she had a tortilla. It was, well, we can't even show you, but no, it was delicious. Just it was, know it. yeah, it was delicious. So we're less than uh, 10 kilometers from? Less, I think we're less than eight. Uh, less than eight? Oh wow, okay. Well, less than eight kilometers from Pamplona. We'll see you there. Beautiful one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are on day four of walking the community Santiago. A couple big changes. We did uh, yesterday. We took a rest day in Pamplona and woke up this morning. Sandy's knee was was super swollen, so. This is kind of really hard for me walking without her, but I'm going to, uh, from Pamplona to Puente La Riena this morning. It's about 18, a little bit over 18 miles, I think. The weather has finally turned for the better. No rain, which is nice. Temperatures are a bit warmer. We are now just starting to get into the, to the beautiful rolling hills outside of Pamplona. Probably not gonna check in too much today. I just, I'll probably check in at least when we get to the next town where Sandy is. So, uh, yeah. Let's just do some walking this morning. Okay, just stopped in a little town to grab a ham sandwich and a Coke Zero. I really love the ham sandwiches on the Camino. The ham and cheese and bread, it's, it's a simple thing, but it's so daggone delicious. I don't know why, maybe it's just, as far as we're walking, but we're about two kilometers from kind of a landmark here on the Camino, which I'll show you once we get up there, but really hoping Sandy's taking care of herself right now, and uh, I can't wait to see her. But we have to get there first, so vamanos. Okay, so we've made it to the Northern Vista. If you know anything about the Camino or you've seen the way, you've seen this part. It has all these silhouettes of pilgrims walking the Camino on horseback. Just a beautiful view out into the valley. It's absolutely gorgeous. A lot of uphill to get here. Also, uh, if you've never seen a wind turbine before, you get pretty up close and personal with these things because, I mean, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is, it is super windy up here. So this is kind of crazy because this is something I haven't really experienced on this Camino, which is being alone. Nobody behind me, nobody in front of me. It is kind of crazy how, how busy it's been, but I don't think it really adds anything to it or takes it away. If uh, we wanted a Camino with less people, then I guess we'd just pick a different route, but I am trying to stretch out the old legs to make it to Sandy. She has already checked into the Albergue, said she's in the courtyard with her leg propped up, drinking a nice ice cold Coke, which I'm gonna have when we get there, hopefully. I've had one today, but you know, on the Camino. Second one, second one never hurts.
on the next episode of Wonderful Revolution, our journey across Spain continues. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a single step. Until next time, stay wonderful. Call it a day.